I had that intuition, that gut feeling that mm, I should move my stuff off, and then I didn't. It took too long for me to come around. I was right on the cusp, and then contagion goes fast. My idea was to just make 6%, you know, with free money. And it worked for a while. But I didn't feel like I was at a tremendous amount of risk. Then the news broke with Celsius. Then the news broke with Three Arrow Capital. I just enjoyed that sweet, sweet APY. So I left a little too much in Celsius and it does hurt to lose. In hindsight, I learned a lot, but at the same time, I got wrecked. These are the stories of painful crypto lessons learned. Algorithmic stablecoin Terra USD and its sister token Luna collapsed. Cryptocurrency lenders Celsius and Voyager bankrupt. Cryptocurrency hedge fund Three Hours Capital bankrupt. The recent contagion in the crypto space has left some people losing their life savings, and it's unclear if more dominoes could fall. You're going to see a whole series of these actors get crushed to zero over the next few months in the contagion of, of leverage being caught offside with the lack of liquidity. Volatility is nothing new to crypto, but this recent so-called crypto winter has precipitated a chain reaction of deep losses and widespread pain, as spectacular demonstrations of mismanaged risk combined with extreme leverage are resulting in a massive cascade of insolvency, and it has pulled Bitcoin down further with it. Really, it all comes down to this collapse of Terra Luna, and that's what really kicked off this whole saga. There were a lot of people in the Bitcoin arena that were warning about this algorithmic link and how it wasn't stable. When prices started to go down, the whole thing unraveled. The peg broke. Luna, the associated cryptocurrency with Terra, went to zero. When Terra Luna tanked, holders with outsized exposure to the not-so-stable stablecoin were left scrambling to cover margin calls that they were catastrophically unprepared for. And the problem wasn't limited to simple reckless speculation. We're looking at a situation that it wasn't just over leverage, but there were maybe some bad actors in there as well. Crypto lending platforms like Celsius are facing accusations of deception and fraud impacting mom and pop retail depositors. There were Ponzi type characteristics at Celsius where they were attracting depositors with higher yields just so they could pay down the yield that they had promised their existing investors. They were absolutely trading the token to manipulate the price. Because you should be borrowing fiat or dollars against your Bitcoin and spending uh -huh. those dollars. That's what the rich people do. That was Celsius CEO Alex Mashinsky encouraging average retail investors to deposit their Bitcoin with his company before declaring bankruptcy and freezing customer accounts. Voyager Digital was another popular platform offering outsized yield on deposits while engaging in questionable risk management. We saw that with Voyager where they lent over 600 million uncollateralized in the form of USDC and Bitcoin as well. Now, why did they do this? We can look to the past for clues. In 2008, the great financial crisis was tipped off by reckless lending in the mortgage sector, fueled by a fear of missing out in a housing market that seemed to be going up only. When the market turned, the party was over. So what are the takeaways from this classic case of contagion? First, if it's not Bitcoin, it's, well, anyone's guess. But one thing's for sure, it's not hard money. Second, if you do lend your Bitcoin for yield, be aware of counterparty risk. In the end, the music does stop. And in Bitcoin, in crypto, there is no lender of last resort. Did I read all the terms <laughs> and user agreements? No, I didn't read through the hundreds of lines of text. It just goes to show that if it's not Bitcoin, the chances of something happening are exponentially greater than just keeping it in cold storage. But there's also an argument that this washout of unhealthy projects will make the ecosystem healthier in the long run. After all, in real capitalism, risk is both rewarded and punished, allowed to fail, no bailouts from the Fed. We are in a crypto winter, though, where certain ideas, projects, monikers, acronyms will go away. They will die. What will survive? Bitcoin will survive.